Okay, we are gonna start um, today learning how to rewrite the formulas with the numbers and units in it and uh, know how to read the formula, use a calculator, get the right answer. Today, we are not gonna be using units. Tomorrow, we will start units. First of all, I wanna point out that order of operations is uh, that you learned in math class is up here and it counts on this. You've gotta use your order of operations. Also, I wanna point out that on some formulas, if there's no symbol, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, that means to multiply. We no longer use the X for multiply, mainly because if you did, if you said um, six times four equal X, it gets confusing as to what X is, because X is the unknown number in algebra. We use a dot, it would be six dot four equal X, or you could use parentheses, like put the six in parentheses, four equal X, or you could put the four in parentheses, six, four, or you could put both in parentheses. If every single number is separate in a parenthesis, it does not mess up your order of operations. Okay, but we are not going to use uh, X, we are at we also don't use a divide sign, nor a divide box, which I'll get to here in a minute. All right, to rewrite the formulas with the numbers and units in it, this is, says A times B. There's no symbol, so it says A times B. So you're gonna replace A with A, which is 10.2. Use a dot for times. B, I'm gonna replace that with 3.14. I just got them from up here. And you're always allowed to use a calculator in this class, but just know that your calculator, if it's scientific, might do order of operations for you. It might also round for you, and it may, I can't guarantee it'll round correctly. So uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna do it, and you're always welcome to use a calculator. 10.2 times 3.14. Now I'm gonna write down the whole answer the calculator gives me. You don't really have to write this minute. Uh, just know that uh, sometimes you'll be doing a math problem and you'll raise your hand, do I have to write down all these digits? Now you're gonna know what to round to. So what you're gonna do, we did a slideshow, if you remember about significant digits. This number has one digit to the right of the decimal point. This number has one, two digits to the right of the decimal point. This is tenths, this is hundredths. So what you're gonna do, you don't want your answer to be more accurate than your measuring instrument. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna round to the number of digits of the least accurate number in our problem, or least accurate measurement in our problem. Since we're not doing units today, we really don't know which one of these are our measurements. So we're just gonna look at all of them. This one has one decimal digit, which means it only measured to the tenths. This one has two decimal digits, which means that measuring instrument measured to the hundredths. The least accurate is this one with one decimal place. So since my least accurate number or measurement in the problem has one decimal place or one number to the right of the decimal point, my answer needs one number to the right of the decimal point. So we're gonna round to the first number to the right of the decimal point. And as you remember from second grade on, this is what we're rounding to. So you're gonna look to the right, the two makes the zero stay the same. So your answer is 32.0. And yes, you must have the point zero. Putting just 32 is a wrong answer. All right, so the second one is a divide. Notice the formula says it's a fraction. Since the formula says it's a fraction, please write it as a fraction. 10.2 over F 2.1, and if you're still lost as to where I'm getting these answers, A is right here, and F is right here. I just literally rewrote this with the correct numbers in it. So then I'll get my calculator, and I'm gonna say 10.2 divided by 2.1, and I get a really long way, which you do not have to write. I'm gonna write it just so I can show you how to round it. All right, those, that's the kind of number you get that you're like, God, do I have to write that whole thing? This number has one decimal place. This number has one decimal place. The least number of decimal places or digits to the right of the decimal point is one, so you're gonna round to one. The first decimal digit is this eight right here. So you look to the right of the eight, it's a five. 
So that five makes the eight go to 4.9. That is your final number answer. All right, this one, GHF squared. Since there's no symbols, it's all multiply. G is 9.8, H is 23.3, and F squared, that means you write it twice. 2.1 times 2.1. I'm gonna make my times dots fatter just so the thing is clearer. <coughs> you could also put any or all of those in parentheses instead of using the dot. Um, anyway, so notice I wrote 2.1 twice. If you write 2.1 and just put a two floating around somewhere, your rewrite is wrong. And that might sound like I'm trying to waste your ink but it will help you get the correct number and unit answer at the end. You'll forget and you'll forget to multiply it in twice or you'll take the 2.1 times two instead of 2.1 times 2.1 or you'll forget to square your unit, which we haven't even got to. So it really is to help you get the right answer more often. So I'm gonna get out my calculator, 9.8 times 23.3 times 2.1 times 2.1. Uh, my answer is 1,000, whoops, 6.9794. Now again, all you need to write is the rewrite with the numbers and units in it, the rounded answer, and then the unit. That's what you're gonna have to put on all of your work. Uh, I'm putting the non-rounded answer just so I can show you how to round it. And sorry, this is an actual zero, not a six. Okay. So one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place, meaning there's one digit to the right of the decimal point. The least number of digits to the right of the decimal point is one, so I'm gonna round my answer to one. So I'm gonna round to this nine. I'm gonna to look to the right. The seven makes the nine go to the 10, which makes the six go to a seven. So the answer is actually 1006.0. And yes, you need the point zero. One decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place. So your answer needs one decimal place, whether it's a zero or any other digit. If you just put 1006, your number answer is wrong because it doesn't show your reader how accurately you measured. Uh, okay, going on to the next one. This one has parentheses in a quarter to order, order of operations. That says to do what's in parentheses first. A is 10.2 plus H is 23.3, put it in parentheses, times K is 8.8. .8. I'm not even putting a dot because no sign means multiply as well. Now, order of operation says to do 10.2 plus 23.3 uh, first. Now, here's the problem. If you have a calculator that, that does order of operations for you, it will do the multiplication 23.3 times 8.8 .8 .8 first unless you put the parentheses in. There's a couple ways you can do it. I can put parentheses 10.2 plus 23.3, close parentheses times 8.8. .8. And since the calculator knows something's in parentheses, it will give you the correct answer. The other way you can do it, especially if you don't know if your thing does it or not, 10.2, uh, plus 23.3 equal, then times 8.8. .8. It'll get you the right answer. If you got 294.8, you got the right answer. If you got, I think it's 215 something, 200, I wrote it down on one of these papers, 215 something, uh, that means your calculator did your order of operations wrong. Again, if you've got one of my four function ones, uh, it won't, they won't do order of operations for you. So it's, it's not gonna help you, you don't need to worry about it. But if you have a scientific calculator, it might, and you need to get the answer of 294.8. Now, one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place. My answer already has one decimal place, so I don't have to do anything to it. So the next one is C 5.6 D squared. A D is 46.0 times 46.0. And yes, since it's squared, you have to write it out. Uh, order of operation says to do your exponents first. So 46 times 46. 
hang on, I messed it up, 46 times 46 is 2116.0. That's what the answer to this is. So now, since I did my, I cleared up my exponent first, 5.6 divided by 2116, I get a really long decimal, 0.002. Six four six five zero three. All right, so I got one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place. My least number of decimal places is one, so I'm going to round to this zero. Problem is, in this problem, it makes you round your answer to zero, and I never want you to round your answer to zero. So round it to the fewest decimal places you possibly can. To do that, you're going to go to the first non-zero digit and round to that. Six makes the two go to a three. So your actual answer is 0 0.003. But don't ever round your answer to a zero. I'm going to stop there. I don't think we need to do this last one. And then you need to flip it over and do the backside as homework.